all right hello my youtube friends how are you i hope you're doing well so this is going to be a quick video straight to the point i hope you like it i'm going to talk about vitamin d and covid and my results let's get to it so after countless hours reading papers watching videos doing calculations i had come up with a quick video if you don't know me, my name is Dr. Facundo Gonzalez. Here's a picture. And please do subscribe and like this video. Uh, unfortunately, in this picture, you can see more than, I don't know, basically, like a lot of people that are watching my videos are not subscribing. So please do. I'll give you a second uh, to do that. I will hold my breath until you do. Okay, I'm just kidding. I can't. It's like 3 a.m. when I'm filming this video, so I can't hold my breath. All right, let's get to it. After multiple researches in the Barcelona, Germany, U.S., Brazil, United States, it has been shown that vitamin D deficiency, it is associated with an increased risk of mortality from respiratory diseases like pneumonia, influenza, the cold, etc., has been associated with an increased risk of mortality in people with COVID, has been associated with people with low vitamin D levels are more likely to be positive for COVID. And lastly, it is known that people with vitamin D deficiency have a weaker immune system. Those are the summaries. I won't quote the million research, but that's what it is, straight to the point. However, I do want to make the difference. This is important. If you already have normal levels of vitamin D, taking more does not show any benefit. So it only applies if you have a insufficiency in your vitamin D levels, it matters. But if you have normal levels, no need to take more. It has been proven not to work. The latest research was in February in Brazil. Okay, perfect. Next. Do ask your doctor, make an appointment so you can get your levels. Less than 20 is bad, 30 and above is good. Once you're getting to levels of 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, those are kind of high, so you should watch it. So without further ado, here are my labs. You know, this is a picture. I blacked out all the important information, but that's my name, these are my results. Now we're gonna zoom in on my results yes, as you can see my results show that I have vitamin D insufficiency that's maybe because I'm extremely white from working all these many hours in ICU as I am currently doing I am on hour I don't even know I'm on hour like 20 who knows I lost count so get your levels checked also just want to tell you that it is recommended for adults to take maybe 400 to 1,000 international units of vitamin D per day. The older you get, the more you may need. Only if you are deficient or you may need that to keep normal states. Number five, six, I don't know where I am. Conclusion, do not just take vitamin D. Do consult your doctor first. Get your levels checked like I did because I do take my own advice. And here is, I was actually found to have vitamin D insufficiency. My level's 22, that's just almost at 20, which is bad. So I will take vitamin D. I did not want to forget to mention that taking sun or being outside in the sun, it is very important. It's one of the main sources of vitamin D production. And it is recommended that you spend at least 10 to 30 minutes in the sun, three times a week. and you do can wear sunblock uh, according to the skin cancer foundation there hasn't been no research showing that sunblock can prevent you from producing vitamin d so do wear sunblock and get outside and spend some time outdoors and it will help with your vitamin d levels lastly taking a lot of vitamin d can lead to high levels of calcium that can lead to many multiple symptoms including death you can have nausea vomiting diarrhea abdominal pain neurological symptoms all the way to kidney stones kidney failure and death 
So don't just take a bunch of vitamin D because it can lead to high levels of calcium. Okay? I hope you like this video. I try to make it fast and to the point. My numbers were all off. One, two, three. But the information is there. I hope you like it. Subscribe. And look up a bunch of my other videos. I think they're really good. Thank you.